Okay, so hi guys. Um, can you all hear me? And is my screen visible? Just let me know so that we can proceed. Yeah, yes. We can hear you. Yeah, yeah. great. Um, so I hope you are doing well. And uh, firstly, let me introduce myself. My name is Rupam Gupta. Okay, so I'll just quickly drop this link to my GitHub link so that you can go through some projects or uh, um, the code that we'll be working on. You can just go there and have a look or edit or whatever you want to do. So just do that. Okay, so I have dropped the link. I'll drop it in your WhatsApp group too. So don't worry about that. So let's move on and let's uh, directly look at the project and all that. Okay, let's not hide in the bush. Um, okay, so obviously we are here to look into React.js, right? And to understand React.js, uh, the best way like to begin with it, like uh, in order to see what it is and uh, how it works and uh, what what are we gonna do and uh, what are the components and all that. The best thing is to go to their site. Okay. So you must be wondering, uh, he's not introducing or anything. I'm directly moving on to tutorial, but we'll get to it. Okay, so don't worry. So basically the best definition out there for React is this, a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Okay. Now, what is this user interface in this? Like, uh, what do what do you mean by user interface? And what is this library? And what is React and all? What are we here for? And uh, why are we going to study this? Right? If you're here, um, why are you here? Basically, like, uh, why are you we going to study React? There are tons of technologies out there. There are tons of uh, frameworks, libraries out there that we can learn. But why we are going to learn React only? So we are going to see why we are going to learn React. So firstly, let's understand this user interface. So now what is user interface? So basically with user interface, I mean, what you see on the screen, the way you can interact with the, the computer. Okay. Suppose I'm a human. Okay. And I have to interact with the computer. So now how will I interact with a, uh, like this computer with the help of a user interface? So basically whatever you see in, on this screen, suppose I click on this docs, I get this information, right? So how am I getting this? I'm interacting with my uh, laptop, right? I'm interacting with this window. I'm interacting with this site. And that is what user interface is. Okay. Now, what is a library? So let's take an example of a simple library. Okay. Um, normally in our libraries, we have books, right? In your college or in your society or in your school, you have a library which consists of many books. Right. Just like that in react, uh, in programming languages, in JavaScript, we have a library of JavaScript functions. Okay. There were so many functions. Uh, suppose there's a, um, we have to log in, right. We have to search for something. We have to add some more functionality, whatever we have to do. They are all constrained together and uh, made, a, uh, and we have made a library for them. Right. And, um, uh, those, all the books. Right, I'm saying books to the functions. So all the functionalities constitutes together to make React. Okay, the library that they are making is React. Okay, so that was just a brief explanation of React. Now let's come to the workshop. So basically this workshop is not going to be your usual one. Like you go to the workshop and the instructor just starts explaining things uh, just like uh, what I did right now. And uh, you just uh, sit here for uh, one and a half hour or two hours. And, and like our classes is going to be two and a half hours long. So you just sit there and just look at the screen and that's it. But that's not how this is going to be. So before we move on, just uh, let me tell you how this workshop is going to be. Okay. Obviously we'll be looking into tutorials, but again, I must tell you that, uh, I don't really, uh, prefer just the theory part. Okay. Even when you look at this presentation with uh, my goals, my first goal is to make you comfortable in the XJS, right? In order to see what are the functionalities, what is the XJS, then move on to tutorials and just like that. Then theory again will not be looking into theory at all. We will be looking into applying the theory. Okay. If you are here for the definition, 
okay suppose if we are looking into some hook and if you are here for some definition then i don't think this is the place for you okay you should uh, really look somewhere else uh maybe on the web you will find some blog and there's uh, there's plenty of definitions suppose you have to look use state hook then we won't be looking at the use state hook how it is explained or how it is sorry explanation is not the right word rather definition okay so we'll not be looking at the use state definition rather we'll be looking at its application its implementation right and as soon as we do that we'll build our projects what we'll do how this is going to be we'll look into a topic okay suppose there is a hook with the name of use state we'll look into that and then directly after explaining the topic with the help of a project okay we'll be looking into that hook also or the topic also or some functionality also with the help of an example with the help of a project and once we do that we'll move on to our next project of the same topic and then only we'll move on to our next topic once we have covered it with the help of application of the theory and the project okay only then and only then we'll be moving on to the project so if you are here for the definition part or the theory part this is not the right place moving on react js it was developed by facebook in 2011 it is maintained by them all the functionalities that you see in react js facebook is directly uh, facebook is uh, directly responsible for it okay all the changes that are made all the functionality that are provided anything at all in react js is um directly or indirectly dependent uh, like uh, related to facebook although you can add more functionalities but uh, that you will have to do from the outside sources um so you have to do from the outside sources like uh, facebook won't be providing them or they won't be inbuilt over there okay so whenever you see a function suppose i am here and this is the hook use state again let's take the same example let's not move forward and let's take the same example suppose this is the hook right then like uh, who has made this hook like uh, and again if uh, this is another hook use effect who has made this hook what are the functionality it will provide they are all decided by facebook right uh, there is no some external party or some external factor factor that is responsible just facebook is responsible for that completely and completely now it has been changed to meta and all that but uh, come on now what is angular view and swelt just like react js i just explained what is react js uh, it is a library right uh, like combined uh functionalities come together and make a library right so what is angular view and swelt basically these are the competitors of react js although i must tell you that react js is by far the most popular library right um it is undisputable the king of the libraries and frameworks believe me okay and if you, even if you don't believe me just go on google or youtube and you'll find plenty of same thing okay now what is angular angular is a framework so now you i just said that uh, react is a library i am saying that uh, angular is a framework and i am also saying that uh, they are the competition of each other like then what is framework and what is library so library i have explained that there are some constituents of functionalities right suppose i have some functions and they come together to make a library small functions suppose i have to provide i have a client okay and he has to make a web app in order to maintain his inventory so he does not need much of a functionality right he can make a he can make a simple app web app with the help of react right but suppose i have to make a huge huge project okay i have to add a login functionality and what not okay i have to add each and everything how will i do that i will do that with the help of angular okay so why not use angular then because angular has too much of a functionality to make a simple website like this okay suppose i just want to see my data i just want to make my user interface good but i don't want to deal with a complex functionality so what will i do i'll use react if i click on this docs i have this data i click on this i have this data so this is a simple web app right or you can say simple website so will i be using angular for that no i'll be using react for that view is somewhere between angular and react and so it is just like that so 
uh, Angular is giving up a uh, decent competition to React, Vue is coming there, but they are not really as popular as React. Okay. Uh, moving on. Components is equals to interface, user interface. Why? So I have already uh, told you what is user interface. So basically, whatever I am seeing on this screen, this is my user interface, right? Now, then what is this component? Whatever the functionality that you are making, suppose I have this docs. Now this is my component. All the data that it is having, it is in this component only, right? This getting started, this feed, this sidebar is in this component, only this docs component or whatever the name of this component is. But I can see docs here, so I'm calling it docs, right? So the, the docs component is having these two things, right? Then there is tutorial component, then there is block component, then there is com uh, community component. So basically, these, comp uh, these uh, components are coming together to make a what user interface, right? Now, what is this component tree? Um, so basically, look, I have this component, docs component. Now, I have two branches in it, this feed, then this sidebar. Okay. Now in the sidebar also, I have this installation, main concept, advanced guide, these all components, right? Okay, I click on them. Now look, I have this getting started and it also having its own component. So basically what it is doing, I am having a component, it is having two branches. My this component is having its own branches and that component is having own branches. Just like this, uh, just like here, this is having its own branches, try react online and all that. So when, uh, like um, when you have a component and they're having their own branches, then those branches are having those branch, uh, their own branches. Then basically they are making a tree, right? Just like tree, you have a branch, then, th uh, th then that branch has uh, more branches. Then those branches have more branches and they constitute together to make a tree, right? So just like that, we make a component tree fine independent so basically it is independent react.js is independent of other functionalities if you want to use other um, libraries you use them and if you don't want to use it don't use it totally up to you now reusability so basically if i'm making this docs component or this uh, feed component i can use this again in my tutorial component also although they have not used it here but if they want they can use it so basically, this is what I mean by reusability. Coming to speed. React.js is very, very fast. Like, really fast. Let me show you. Um, I'll quickly come to this website again. Okay, just so that there is no memory and all that. Now, if I click on this docs, now look. My data is in front of me, just like that. In a fraction of seconds, right? I click on tutorial and it is here. Blog, it is here. So you can see the speed, right? So this is what I mean when I say speed in React JS. But what is React? Like, uh, uh, do I just use this to make simple website like this? Um, I was making these websites uh, like gladly with the help of JavaScript, right? You were making them. And why are you here? Let's go to YouTube for that. Let me search for YouTube. Okay, and okay, let me look at some video. I'll go to this. Okay. But chit funds, kaise ka okay, I'm here. Now, look, likes are over here, views are over here. Okay, now, if I click on this, my like has been counted. Suppose there would have been less number counts. Let's go to web dev army page. Okay. We have really less number of views and subscribers and I do not really care about it. Anyways, now look, two likes, right? And 18 views. If I click on this, look, three likes and the change directly over here. If I click on dislike now, look, it changes to two. I get a, I, it, it shows me some pop up or something. So I do not have to reload my screen just to see that change or just to see that, okay, three is over here. I'm getting live update, right? If someone comes over here, 
um, on your screen if you go and just like this video, it will turn into four, right? Without even reloading or doing anything. So this is the magic of React. You suppose there is a tweet, okay? There is a tweet. Just uh, imagine. And suppose it is a tweet by Elon Musk, and he just posted it on his uh, Twitter, okay, Twitter account. It was posted uh, uh, about fifty seconds ago, okay. Let's imagine that. Um, let's go to Twitter dot com. Elon Musk. Let's look for him. Okay, so okay. So I'll search for account later. So there is an account of Elon Musk. Okay, he just tweets about fifty seconds ago, and it gets like of a thousand. Okay, thousand likes are there. You can see that one k is written there. Now what you do? You click on that like button. Okay, you click on that like button, and you see that you just clicked on that, and the time changed to fifteen seconds to thirty seconds, and uh, that does those that like count from one k. Turned into two K, and you didn't even refresh. How did that happen? That happened with the help of React. So basically, it will also help you in refreshing your content without even reloading it, like the real time update. Okay, that you get with the help of React. I hope I am making some sense here over here, and you are also with you are all with me. So if you have any doubt, just let me know. Okay. Um, anything you want to ask? right now hello sir yeah i actually hello uh, hello sir uh, what is the server side rendering yeah, that will come into don't worry that will come into all the things just yes, in a sir. sequence uh, okay? okay sir okay. one thing okay. at a time i will keep okay. on saying that throughout the workshop one thing at a time Hi. okay yeah shri shiva yeah i have one question like uh, are we using, if you are using angular also same thing happens right No, yeah, right. You can it's do the same thing. Was... So, what's major difference like with React and Angular? Okay, I'll. Okay, okay. Let's say look into our example. I want to make a button. Okay. Uh, or even better than okay, I have a button which is not having any background. Okay. Now, what do I do? Um, I'll. I want to hover on it. Okay, and when I hover on it, I want its background. to be changed suppose it was plain white now i want to it, it to be black okay so what will you do you will be using simple css right you will write uh, suppose you have a box then you will say box hover and whatever is the um color you will write that color change to color of oh, sorry background color black you will do that right or you will do anything else yeah yeah, yeah the same thing yeah. then you have the second uh, second option uh, you can go through javascript you can make a component there you can call it from your html then you can uh, style it and then you can write change my background color to black what what will you prefer like using the css or using the javascript oh no, i prefer javascript That's right good. javascript right okay um let's take another example you will use javascript yeah. mostly css but uh, majorly javascript no i'm just saying that you have, when i hover on a button you want yeah. to change the background so will you be will you be using the simple css by writing box hover and uh, background That's color simple, to black simple or, css or you will be writing javascript by selecting that element then calling no, it no i i'll write simple css yeah. you will write simple css right um let's yeah. take one more example um okay i have this button okay whenever i click on this i want to change the data okay okay now what will you use will you use css or javascript javascript right exactly that's my point when you have less functionality when you have less functionality to show okay limited functionality then you use a library such as react okay, okay. um then there is framework angular suppose i want to make a login functionality okay just take i always i love this example of login login functionality i want to have a login functionality now it is available in angular but it is not available in react okay inbuilt i'm talking inbuilt Okay. So it is not inbuilt in Angular. Oh, sorry, React, but it is inbuilt in Angular. So when I want to make a huge app that requires my uh, login functionality and more such functionalities that are inbuilt in my framework, then I'll be using Angular. 
But if I don't need that much of functionality, suppose I'm making a simple web app, I'm fetching my data from my API and uh, I'm just showing the data according to that to the user. Suppose user is searching for something, some video and uh, he just click on search button. So I can show him the simple data by fetching the API, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that the simple task that we have to do, the simple websites or the simple apps that we have to make can be easily made with the React. Okay, so that is why we use React for simple projects and when we have huge and huge and complex projects, then only we'll go into a framework. Okay, can we do uh, complex projects with React? You can do, you can do, okay. uh, that's what I think. But it is not inbuilt in React. Okay. Okay, okay. you have to take okay. external libraries for that. Uh, so you mean to say, hi, this is Karthik. So you mean to say, with React, we will be able to create any simple application. Um, no, you can make is it as complex. Adjustable? Okay. You can make as complex uh, applications as you want. It is just I'm saying that uh, inbuilt functionality in React is lesser as compared to Angular. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but at the same time, if you just move on to Angular directly, look, uh, Angular has its uh, own replications or disadvantages. Like, uh, even if you have to make a simple app, you will have to go through like uh, a complex code. Just like I uh, explained here with the help of my background color. If I have to make a background color change, will I be moving on to CSS or JavaScript? Obviously CSS. So that is why React is over there. It has its own functionality and it has its own work. Okay, they are completely two different things that we are comparing. Okay, so we ask that uh, which is with Angular or Angular. Your voice is inaudible. Like, I can't hear you. Yeah, in that, uh... Again, Karthik, your we, voice is not coming properly. Your voice is Karthik, your voice is getting stuck. You can text there. Yeah. You just write in okay. the message box. Am I audible now? Yeah, yeah, now it's proper. Yeah, go on. Okay, so just want to ask that it has often been asked to me which one is better, React or Angular, and why? Hmm. Which one is better? So I think yeah. I have explained that with the help of my example only. Again, there is a nothing better okay there is uh, like again said that you're comparing two different things okay not completely different but again a bit I different think it from each other uh, depend on projects what are you building it depends exactly. on exactly that's what i am saying from the start like it depends what you're working on suppose i have to make a huge app like youtube that i won't be working on react i won't i will be working on uh, um angular but if i have the same project right just i have to make a app just like youtube but in a simpler way i have uh, i have to simple fetch the api depending on what the user passes okay let's let me show you some something uh, but in that case facebook and insta itself is created on react right mm -hmm. so they are vast big applications yeah. that's what i'm saying that you can use that to create if you want you can create that there is no problem but inbuilt functionality in react is lesser as compared to angular okay and the functionality that you are provided with the Facebook is obviously lesser than the, than what they have when than what they already have with them, right? They are not providing you everything what they have. Okay, okay. Just one last question as well. Yeah. Uh, that how about the size? How about the um, data consumed by the user if we create if we create an application with a framework rather than a library? Is that is something which uh, is different, or um, is what, what that do you mean also by data consumed? Thing? What do you mean by data consumed? See, see, uh, React is a library, whereas right. Angular is a framework. Right. Right. Framework means it is a bigger uh, thing. It is a more complex, more heavier than React. Mm -hmm. React is, however, much lighter. Correct. Now, lighter means not lighter in weight, obviously. Lighter in the uh, 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 amount of data consumption. Mm -hmm. Right when when it's get loaded, yeah. So again, right, that on speed the... factor you're asking, right? I I'm not sure about which term should I use, but is that uh, what we are looking for? Yeah. When yeah. we select the a speed, framework, yeah, the speed will be affected. Um, if you look at React, it will be faster for sure. Okay, uh, as compared to your uh, like uh, Angular framework. Suppose you're making two similar apps. Okay, I'll go again to the same website of react.js okay suppose i have to make this same website okay i can make it with the help of react 
and I can make it with the help of Angular, right? I can do uh, this, this same project with the help of both of them, right? Again, the, um, the heavier side that you put, obviously Angular is going to be a heavier one, okay? It is going to be like slower than this React, okay? So the website that you will make, the same project that you will make, with the help of react it will be faster but with the help of uh, angular it will be slower as compared to react got it okay thank you yeah sure uh, i i want to ask one thing yeah yeah sure you are telling that inbuilt function is not available in react like no no uh, inbuilt functionality is there but it is lesser as compared to angular like uh, as i again take the same example login functionality if you have to make a login functionality in react project you will have to either call um uh, outside uh, what do i say like a react router no no react router is a different thing mm -hmm. um yeah let's take a example of react router only okay suppose i want to make this routing thing okay suppose i want to uh, if I click on this, I want to change this URL and depending on that URL, I want to show that data, right? So mm -hmm. this I'll have to call from outside. It is not inbuilt in this React, okay? But such functionalities are inbuilt in your Angular, okay? Similarly, if I have to add some login functionality, it is built in Angular, but it is not built in, in React. Either, either I have to call external library or I'll have to make a full functionality of that uh, login functionality i'll have to write all the function i'll have to use my own api i'll have to use my own database and all that understood yes understood yeah anyone anything else okay let's move on so now what is going to be the structure of this workshop so firstly we'll be looking into our dev environment what we have to install, what we will have to like uh, have, what are the extensions that you should have in order to begin with this, with, uh, like with the tutorials part. And after that, we'll be moving on to projects. And in the last, uh, in the end, we'll be looking into Redux part. Okay. So why at the last? That I'll explain at the last itself. Okay. So let's move on and let's see. Okay, before the before that, before we look into the dev environment, let's look into requirements. What are the requirements? So since you are here for this workshop, I am hoping and I'm guessing that you already know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay. Uh, I'm not saying that you have to be an expert in JavaScript, but at least the basics I will not be explaining like fetching something or fetching I'll explain um, that I always explain although you should know if you have a, a studied JavaScript but still I'll explain that but simple things like uh, arrow function okay ES6 I won't be explaining these things so I hope I am guessing that you already know this if you don't there's a completely complete week over here go through some YouTube tutorial go through my tutorial whatever you like okay I have already uh, already provided Google Drive link in order to go through the same. And also I have provided uh, the same videos at my YouTube channel, WebDev Army. Okay. Uh, and, uh, just the access I have given, I think uh, to you all, if I have not given the access, you can just uh, search it on YouTube. You will find that and you can go through all the uh, JavaScript basics videos. Okay. So, Again, I'll, exp I'll say that if you don't know HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you are at the wrong place. Again, I don't know why I applied because every time some one or two kid is there or student is there who don't know HTML, CSS and JavaScript and they are directly on React.js. I don't know why, but they are always there. So if you don't know, uh, don't worry. Just go through these again and you'll be good to go. Okay. Okay. Let's move on dev environment what will you need and what i'll be using personally what you can use uh, okay now node as for node you'll need a minimum of 5.2.0 okay minimum this so if i go download or install node okay this link node.js.org click on this 
now always select the lts don't select the current i mean you can but it is not that stable this is long term support so lts is good depending on your system whether you have windows or mac or uh, linux just install it okay i already i am already having that so i won't be installing it but again if you are already having this uh, node version but check your version okay it should be a minimum of 5.2.0 i'll be using browser as chrome you can use whatever you want whatever you like if you hate chrome not a problem you can use it but i really like chrome it has good fun good functionality with visual studio and we have react developer tools for that also okay uh third thing we have text editor text editor what we'll be using is visual studio okay so this is the code editor that code editor that i'll be using so you can again go here and write a uh, um download vs code click on this and again whatever you have windows ubuntu or mac just install it i, I again i am already having it so i won't be installing it but you can just go through and install it the last thing that you can install is react developer tools this is like really helpful helpful so i'll say react developer tools chrome extension please come on time from the next time i won't be allowing people to just come so just write this on google click on this and uh, install okay just uh, click here to get installed i am already having it so it is showing me remove from chrome right so that won't be um your problem so just install it and uh, the functionality that it provides and all that we'll look into it later okay when we need it but for now just uh, install it okay uh, if you are not already having it okay the extensions that i'll be using i'll quickly go to my visual studio just to show you what are the extensions that i'll be using okay so i'll click on extensions and here i can search for extensions so what are the extensions that i'll be using prettier okay just to make my code look good then i'll be using a bracket color. okay here this bracket pair colorizer so basically if i am having more than one bracket it will change their color so as to differentiate between them so as to know where my uh, next bracket is ending and where it starts and all that prettier to make my code look good es7 okay this is really important this will help you a lot um okay yes seven react yeah so install this it will help you a lot it will just provide you functionality suppose you want to get a uh, uh, what do you say what is that word suppose you want to just get a code already written there right suppose you are you have made a file with the name of index.js <laughs> and you want your component to be named as index only so you can uh, you can just write rfce i'll i'll tell you the how to use it on all that but for now just install it if you want it will be really helpful then live server i hope you know by now what is live server because you are coming from javascript and all that so yeah now the terminal part for the terminal um let's skip it for a while you will know when you use it you will know on your own like how do you, how you use it but if you want to have a look just uh, let's look into terminal let's look at it nothing goes into looking it okay um suppose you want to get a full path so just write pwd we'll get a full path okay and if you want to get the list of directory just like uh, ls and if you want to make a okay suppose i want to make a i'll write cd desktop if i want to go to the desktop what i'll say i'll say cd desktop and enter and i am now if you look here i'm at my desktop now if i want to make some folder i'll say mkdir suppose i want to make a folder with the name of react then i'll just click on enter and my react folder will be created on my desktop okay i'm not creating it but it can be created if i want okay then um so this is pretty much it for uh, this presentation and let's move further and let's see what we'll be covering
okay so starting with the introduction and installation that we have done we we'll look into react basics okay uh, what are the props and all that the completely from the scratch we'll be looking at today how to write your first uh, program how to write hello world because uh, there is no such language like uh, there is no such tutorial where you have not studied hello world as your first program so that we the same thing we'll be doing today then we look into react hooks what are they and the different types of hooks and all that so this will come into play you uh, like if even if i tell you now you won't understood if you are not familiar with the react and even if you know that what it is i don't think it is of much importance to you but if you think that you need this you can just take a screenshot or something or you can look into the recording whatever you feel like okay i'll close this and look into the let's look into the projects so we'll start with a simple project such as this okay then we'll be looking into more similar projects with a explanation of each and every topic okay that we'll do as soon as we look into a hook suppose okay let me just get this labels again suppose i look into this use effect hook then i have a uh, then i have a project for that okay um if i look into use state then i have a project for this this okay suppose i have use effect then i have project this then this for my use effect okay so just like that for every topic i have a project assigned some sometime it has just one sometime it has more than one okay okay and at the end uh, after these small projects we'll be looking into some api based projects um like this this is going to be a api based project this is going to be a api based project this is going to be a api based this is going to be a api based then we look into our clones this is going to be a netflix clone and this is going to be a disney plus clone at the very end okay so we'll make this and yeah so i think everything was clear like how we'll proceed with the workshop and how we'll look into projects and all that i hope th all this is clear uh, i want to ask one thing yeah sure <laughs> you will you have shown that clone part mm -hmm. okay so we will make full clone or only front page clone look uh, for the netflix clone it will be like front page clone only but for uh, mm -hmm. uh, but for uh, sorry disney. but for disney plus it will be a yeah. uh, blogging clone like if i click on some movie it will show me uh, details about it images about it obviously the movie won't be running that will be illegal no, 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 no. but yeah uh, the information we will see yeah uh, but make sure there should be some difference like we should learn something from that instead of going through videos um obviously that yeah. uh, what the goal of because everything of what you have shown i have seen in uh, youtube uh, so it's not exact like same difference okay um so like uh, what do you mean by like same thing i don't I mean like uh, yeah same clone things i have seen in youtube which we can go through the that videos mm -hmm. uh for that instead of that we are here right just yeah. to so yeah, the main part of the yeah. workshop is interaction okay right yeah, yeah. so the interaction what... part that is the most important and again uh, like youtube tutorials are a different thing and workshop is a different thing they are completely different you can't just compare them i'm understanding mm -hmm. what i what, what you are trying to say and uh, yeah. don't worry i'll keep on that okay yeah Uh, hello sir um one uh, time akshay yeah uh, hello sir uh, uh, at the end of this uh, workshop mm -hmm. uh, can we uh, build the uh, instagram clone sir? yeah sure like, easily uh, uh, okay sir uh, do you have a project for redux um can't hear you garen uh, do you have a project for redux again can't hear you yeah, asking like do we have any projects for redux Redux. Um, hello, Redux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we look at it at the end for the Redux part. Don't worry. Not for tutorial kind of thing. He's asking like, do we have any projects for that? Yeah, like, yeah. We will be Redux. learning uh, Redux with the help of a project only. So don't worry about that. Okay. 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 Everything okay. will be here. Will be like. Uh, uh, not uh, nothing will be like theory. It always will be implications or applications of. your topics even if we are looking at the states or hooks that will also be something uh, applicable or uh, something like that okay so 
don't worry okay so let's have a look at how to start with our first uh, app and how to uh, install our first react app okay how to make our first app so let's get started let's go to create react app i'll click over here now Again, in order to start with it, you should have a NPM version greater than equal to 5.5.6 and node version greater than 14.0. So make sure you have that. And if you don't just install it, click on this and it will take you to this page. So just install it and have it. Okay. Now, in order to install it, um, what do you have to do? You have first, you'll have to run NPX create react app, my app. So let's do that. I'll start my Windows PowerShell. I'll say CD desktop. Okay, just to take my cursor to desktop so that I am on desktop. Now here I can create my folder. So what I'll do, I'll say C NPX. Create React app. Now, uh, you must be wondering, isn't there some other way to create React app? There is. You can just start and uh, uh, make it from the scratch. But to be honest, I even don't know how to make that. And I have never done that. Like, I can do that if I just look into it for a few minutes. But again, you will also be able to do that. But it is a hectic process and uh, no one wants to go through that. Okay. So just for that. They have this functionality where you can go npx create dash react dash app. Now, whatever the name of your app is, um, let's take it workshop dash react dash march. Okay, let's hit enter and it starts installing its functionalities. It is start getting its dependencies and whatever the things that it require in order to make a react app, it starts killing them and uh, we'll wait wait for it to get installed okay uh, it is creating a react new a new react app as you can see over here so we'll wait for it um if it takes time in your pc too it's completely normal it's nothing abnormal or it's a problem with your pc or something completely fine so let's wait for it just to get installed and then we'll move forward okay Sir, uh, can I ask you a question, sir? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm having a problem in uh, this uh, installing this NPM. And uh, yeah, I pretty much uh, installed uh, what uh, uh, it's, yeah, one second. Yeah, actually, I installed uh, NPM and uh, what is this one? Yeah, yeah I, I installed the NPM and it's not, a, I'm not able to uh, create a React app. Um, did you, uh, do you have the like uh, correct version? If you don't just uh, do one thing, just uninstall it again. Yes, sir. Okay. Just uninstall it once, delete it from okay. everywhere in okay. your system, the node.js part and install it again. Okay. That should okay. work. Yeah. Okay. Actually I'm using Linux. Yeah. Actually I am using Linux. Hmm. So I don't know how to, uh, undelete everything and, uh, uh, install, uh, just uninstall it uh, from somewhere, or just delete it, set and up, NPM. that's it. Okay, sir, I will try it. Work. Um, try to uh, troubleshoot it with the help yeah. of Google. Like, if you're making your own React project also, you'll be going through, like, hefty problems, and uh, there's going to be yes. so many bugs and errors. So yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Just be ready yeah. for that. Actually, I try to... Uh, yeah, actually, I tried to do a NPM fund and the NPM audit fix, and it, it's still uh, I'm having uh, errors in, in uh, Node.js. So that's why I'm not able to create a React app. So I am still stuck into the basic thing. Yeah, so if you are not able to install it, there's some problem in your NPM or Node only, uh, nothing else. So okay. Try to resolve it. Wrong version of Node. Okay, I hope it is installed. It is taking a bit of a time. Let it get installed. Uh, Till then, let's see something more. Okay, so here is something. Um, there is this docs in their reactjs.org only. Okay, so if you don't know what docs is, so docs is basically whatever I'll teach you and whatever I will not. Okay, 
everything that is in the react will be in their docs okay just like any other doc um they have this uh, doc over here you can just go through this it is very good and it is uh, very well explained over here suppose i want to get a hook Supp okay suppose i want to understand jsx okay so they will explain you uh, like uh, what is jsx how will how will be implemented and all that it is completely over here so once you are done with the lecture you can just go over here and uh, read their docs their docs is really good like i really like this uh, doc one more doc that i liked was a uh, mongodb doc so if you want to just go through that also that is really good i'm just suggesting you just to cut through the chase and cut through this time i think is the wrong version of node let me stop exactly obviously the only the the reason is uh, the node this is the workshop i'm looking for q are we going to cover most of the common functionality that we do in real time yes we are going to cover everything do we get the recording sessions yes you will get the recording of each and every session okay that is how i'll be able to keep up with me right so yeah um you can go through these if you want this is a really good doc anytime uh, you face some difficulty just come to this doc or search on google because you will be getting too many bugs and too many errors again i can't come to each and every computer and look at the bug or error so you you will have to face that on your own right the bugs and error part so just be smart with the google i hope you are just be more much more smarter okay okay so okay okay no taking a bit of an extra time i guess yeah installed happy hacking so let's go to our uh, folder this is my folder over here workshop react march as you can see over here let's say open with code yes i trust the author as i am the author now this is our app um before i move on let's start a live server too here i'll say terminal okay here terminal new terminal and if i go here back to my and new create new react app here look it is saying cd my app npm start so basically what it means to say is that take me to my app folder okay um because it is created here my app so if you look here i am already in my folder so the only thing that i need to do is npm start so let's hit that npm start so that i can get my development server ready and i can see what is there for me okay so my development server is getting started come on be a bit faster okay let's look at this folder structure i was hoping to see it along with this okay so here is our app okay now you might be wondering i just created this uh, app and i can already see this data how is this coming so let's have a look at that now it has this node modules so if you don't know about node modules node modules basically con will contain all your dependencies and all that okay so if you install suppose uh, bootstrap so it will come here okay you can check it out or if you have cache you can check it out your cache over here so something like that now in public we'll move on to public src let's look at the public first only okay let's look at this now if you look at public it has this index dot html now this is the most important file of all in this react js for you now why because if you look over here it is having this div which is having an id of root 
Now this might sound a bit strange and a bit surprising but my complete app all the things that I make suppose even if I make a huge app like uh, YouTube through my react it will all be con uh, contained in this dev which is having a id of root okay i know it sounds a bit strange but whatever you write in this whole project or whatever you can see over here is in this react in this root id of root okay in this dev which is having this id of root although you cannot see anything over here because it is getting rendered from somewhere else Okay, I'll tell you from where, but just understand that your complete app is in this dev only, which is having an ID of root. Okay, so don't just uh, look into it. Um, okay, other than that, if you look at this index.js, index.html, it is uh, just like any other HTML5 file. It is having doc type, HTML head, meta, um, this head closed, title closed, body. So simply just like a normal HTML file, okay, which is having this div with an ID of root. Again, um, this logo that you see over here is coming from one of these, okay. So yeah, just like that. Now these are the logos and uh, five icon that you are seeing uh, basically this logo this logo and whatever now so this was about public folder so basically the important folder important file in this folder is index.html which is containing my div with an id of root so basically which is containing my complete project okay moving on src what is this src folder Let's start with index.js. After my index.html, index.js is going to be the most important file. Why? Because whatever I write in my app is going to come from my index.js only. Whatever I render, suppose I'm uh, like sending my data to my root ID. Okay, that element my root ID. I'll explain this. Don't worry. So you don't have to worry about it right now. So whatever I write inside this uh, index.js will be taken to my index.html and will be shown on the screen. Now you might be wondering, uh, there is no logo, there is no text, then how come this is showing all this data? So if you look over here, app is over here and uh, app.js and now look, this uh, edit src, app.js, save to reload, this is all coming from here. I know it's confusing, but don't worry about it at all. We are going to delete most of it and we'll be um, making it uh, on our own one by one. Okay, so again, one thing at a time. Just forget uh, this all I taught you. Okay, in the SRC, just remember that the most important file is going to be index.js. Why? Because we are entering this. If we change the file name and we still call it, it is completely fine. No worries. We have this logo. We won't be. Uh, learning this uh, report vital and setup so let's delete them right away let's delete this logo let's delete the css dot this this let's delete everything let's just have index.js for now okay then there is git ignore so i hope by now you know what is git ignore so basically whatever when you upload your project on your git or some other uh, platform and the uh, things that you want to ignore comes into git ignore so here Obviously, node modules is always a huge dependency, right? It is a huge file, always covers most of your data, so it is always ignored. You can always run npm install and you will get node module. How to do that and all that? I will come to that. So, again, don't worry about that, just don't jump. Package.json, package.log.json, I would have explained you, but uh, I know that you are not familiar with the. Um, node and all that so i'll leave it rather just to understand it like this the functionality that i'm providing um okay the dependencies that i'm providing all comes over here okay so dependencies suppose i have react dom or react dependencies you can check over here only okay you can check the version you can see 
whether they are here or not you can check whether what is the what is the code that you will have to write in order to get these functions and all that you can see it package.json okay so this was a bit of tour about uh, this it is showing error so not to worry let's remove this also completely okay and we'll start from the scratch my app is empty now 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 we are really into the beginning so are all the things clear till now like i have not started i have not even started with my first uh, line of code so before this whatever i have explained is this all clear just let me know just confirm it and if you have any doubt ask that yes yes okay just to the two of you or, or okay 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 great said i'm happy nowhere no, it is no so let's get started let's remove this let's remove this and let's come over here what we are going to do how i am going to write my hello world right because what kind of workshop or a tutorial is this if i am not writing hello world over here right so how will we do that in order to start with uh, your react in order to write its functionality in order to make uh, um your first app what do you have to do you will have to create components what are the components again the same thing that i taught you just a bit earlier this my docs is a component my tutorial is a component it can be like uh, i'm not uh, saying compulsory that it is a component it can be okay here i am a hypothetical uh, i'm taking a hypothetical example that uh, this tutorial is a component and it is having this data so basically what my component does is it um, does some functionality and depending on that functionality it will provide me my output but even to write that uh, um component we'll have to import something now what do we have to import so let's look at that i'll go with import react from react so before we move further let's see what do i mean by this if i press control v this will go over there i'll increase the size so you you all can see here i think there was something can you give some time to us to install node and all extension to be sync at you okay is this with everyone like i was thinking if you you will go with the recording but anyway so i'm giving you 5 minutes so just install it okay just install everything we'll be back at 1910 okay it's 193 and we'll be back at in, we'll be back in 7 minutes okay just go through it sure no problem let's get started let me come over here so if you press control b this sidebar will get hidden now what i'm going to do here i'm importing react from react right i am importing it so what am i importing and why am i importing this this react if you go to package.json and if you look here this is a dependency so that means it has some functionality in it right and since it has some functionality it has its own object or properties and just like that it has this react property in it so we are calling it why because we have to use it to in order to add some other functionality okay we will we'll be importing a lots of things so just like that we are importing a react from our react okay so there is a react functionality in our react which we are importing from our react dependency when we installed npx create react app look over here is it gone look installing react react dom and react script with cre templates what is this we'll understand react dom we'll look into later in this lecture only but now react okay 
So when we perform npx create react app, we installed react immediately. Okay. So import react from react. This is done. Now let's make a component. How do we make a component? Component is as simple as making a function. Okay. Suppose I want to show a heading which says hello world. Again, the same thing. Uh, there is no. Um, Okay, did I close this? No. Okay, so there is no tutorial complete without head world. So let's make a component which will show hello world on the screen. So what I'll say, I'll say function. Okay. Greeting. Okay, I'm making a simple function as you can see over here. And here I'll say return. Now I won't write console log because I don't want to see in my console rather I want to see on my screen. So I'll go with return. Now whatever I write inside this return. Okay. In this function, whatever I write in this return will be shown on my screen. So let's write H4. Okay. We'll be working with JSX in this. So if you don't know what JSX, JSX is, I have a post on my uh, Facebook, uh, sorry, Instagram page. You can just go through it. It's really, really simple. Just understand for now, it's something like writing HTML code. Okay, for now, just understand it something like this writing HTML code. If I want to write heading 4, I'll go with H4. Again, closing, opening, and closing tag. In this, I'll say hello world. I'll save this. Now, in ideal world, I should see hello world on my, on my screen, right? But it is not here. Why? Again, although in the act we say to this that this is a component, but after all, this is a function, right? So in order to get this function, either we have to render this or we have to invoke or call this. You can't just invoke this function just like that in the act. So what we do, we render it. Now, what is rendering and all that I'll explain later, but for now, just understand its functionality. But to render, to use the render method, I need something called react DOM. Again, I'll go back over here and see, okay, so I have this something react DOM. That means uh, I can import something from it. So I'll say react DOM. Okay, and it is coming from my, not like this, from my React DOM. Now, this React DOM is coming from my React dash DOM, which I installed along with my React. Now my React DOM is having a method with it, which is called render. So when I do something like this, React DOM dot render. Okay, I can only use this render method if I have React DOM. Okay, and in order to use React DOM, I must import it. Okay, which I'm importing it from my React dash DOM. Okay, now, now what do we do? As I've already mentioned, that whatever you write, you have to render it in your div. You have to write either write directly over here. Or do something, uh, do such a thing that whatever you have to show comes inside this root folder. Okay, root file. So now, with the help of render method, this is possible. Render method takes two things. First, a component that you want to render. And the second thing is the location where you want to render it. Okay, so okay, these are the two things that I already know, right? I know the location and I know the component that I want to render, right? So I'll do the same thing. I'll say in this, um, take my greeting component. Okay. So either use uh, this self closing tag or you can also go something like this opening and closing tag. Second thing that it will take is, is, uh, is the location. What is the location? location is my root folder uh, sorry div which is having a id of root 
so the same thing i will do here i'll say document dot get element by id inside this i'll say root okay i'll save this now if i go back i can see this hello world over here let's make it h1 instead of h4 let's save this i'll come back over here now it is h1 and it is it now few things to take care of and the component name should always start with a capital letter okay suppose if i make this a g i'll change it over here and over here also i'll save this if i go back i can't see anything okay so remember that uh, whenever you may if you are whenever you are making a component it should start with a capital letter only that's a rule okay you can't do anything about that second thing if you want to use uh, like closing and uh, opening and closing tag, tag you can use it or if you want you can use the self closing tag too okay it will also work without any issue since it is a first function i'll quickly explain it again we are importing react okay in order to make this component then this is uh, react dom so that we can use this render method which is inside my react dom okay now my render method is uh, taking two things first is the component that i want to return and second is the location where i want to send it to okay so location is always and always going to be document dot get element by id root and this may change depending on which component you want to render multiple components you want to render that we'll see don't worry about that but for now i hope that this is clear and if you have any doubt ask yeah it will work don't worry um any doubt okay so i hope this is clear let's move on and let's see into more things let's change this text first so if you want you can change this again you can make this paragraph also okay sorry p tag i'll just quickly write here this is uh, rupam and this is my first component i'll save this go back over here see this is rupam and this is my first component as a paragraph okay so this you can do now um i'll what i can do is either i can make direct changes into it or what i can do is i can copy this i'll paste it over here i'll comment it and now i can make changes in this so that i know okay this was my first code you can write over here lecture one or first code or something like that and you can start editing this but so that we don't waste much of our time what i'll be making changes into this only okay now uh another thing that you have to uh, like keep in mind that whatever you do return just jsx over here don't return anything just don't write uh, something like this okay it will it will directly show you error it will say rupam is not defined because obviously rupam is nothing right so yeah now um is there some other way other than this uh, writing this let's suppose if i want to i am writing this paragraph okay now i have one more paragraph to write so what how will i write that so firstly let's remove this and let's see if you want you can uh, remove this also okay it's not compulsory that you will have to write function in this way only you can write your arrow function also greeting okay and in this let's return no inside this if i want to make a heading of h1 which says hello world what will i do i'll say react dot now react is having a create element method okay so i'll say react dot create element which element i want to create i want to create a h1 heading so i'll say h1 
I'll say comma. I like these curly braces. Okay, for no reason I don't know why they write this, but they are over here. So you will have to write it. Now I want to say hello world. So I'll say again. I'll start those, uh, and I'll say hello world in it. Let's save this. Go back. I can see hello world over here. Very properly, not a problem, not an issue. Let's do something like this. Yeah, no, let's keep it that way only. Otherwise, my code will be a bit short and it won't look that good for you. Um. Okay. So this is fine. I'm showing H1 heading of hello world, but I want to also I want to make a div, which is having this H1, which is having this hello world. So how do we create that? So what I'll do, I'll say, do something like this. React dot. react dot create element as i said i want to create a div and in that div i want to have h1 heading right so i'll make this div now i want to create h1 heading i don't want to write anything uh, i don't want to write anything inside it i want to create h1 heading inside it so i'll write again react dot create element and inside this i'll write I'll make a h1 heading, braces, and now hello world. Let's save this. Let's go back, and I can still see this hello world. No changes. Why? Because uh, it was a simple div, uh, did not have any styling or anything, and it is having h1, which is having hello world. But, 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 I want to create a section. In that section, section I want to have three divs. And with those three divs, I want to have a H1 heading with each of them. And with the last div, I also want to have a image along with a link. So will I just keep creating on this react.create element? No. We'll be using JSX again, right? So in JSX, if you want to write multiple um, elements, okay, suppose you want to use paragraph and then H1 headings, what you do is you can start with these uh, braces, okay? Parenthesis, you can start with these, press enter. Now, if I want to write div, I can write div, and inside this div, I can write h1 heading and hello world. It was as simple as this. Let's save this, let's go back, and hello world is over here without any issue. Okay, so this was a bit about JSX. How can we use it? There are more things in JSX. Always you should have a opening and closing tag so as to cover all the things. Suppose I make another div over here. I'll save this error. Why? You can't do that. You should have something which contains all your JSX. Here, look. This empty fragment. Okay. So you should have, you should uh, always, always have something which covers your complete JSX. Okay, here it is this empty fragments. I'll explain empty fragments, don't worry. And uh, earlier we had this div. Okay, and in that div we had this h1 of hello world. Okay, so this is fine. I know how to return hello world now very properly. So let's move forward. Let's remove this. Let's remove this. Don't worry, I'll provide this complete code. Okay. I have my GitHub ready. So don't worry. I'll provide all this code that I am all that I have erased that will also be provided to you. So don't worry at all. Okay. You can just sit back and uh, just watch the lecture if you want, or you can code along. Okay. I'll suggest again to code along. Um, sorry, why do we put that empty bra uh, bracket? So whenever you want to write this multiple data, I, I have to start it from the less next line. If you don't want to start from the next line, you can uh, remove those uh, parentheses. Okay, save this, go back here, hello world. Okay, but if you want to start that with the next line, you will have to use uh, empty brackets. Okay, this is the rule of JSX. Uh, but if you wish to not to write these parentheses, it's totally fine. 
you can just write div over here only or your um empty fragments you can write over here only but you will have to return uh, something uh, like write something directly after the return okay so this is the sole purpose and nothing more now um let's remove this let's remove all this what do i have to do either i can start with the empty fragment or i can start the section div or whatever i want but just to keep my uh, code clean i'll start with parentheses okay if you do not wish to write parentheses completely fine now i'll start with my empty fragments now why i'm using empty fragments like what is the reason of writing them suppose i want to create a section okay suppose i want to create a section with that class div in that div i want to make three divs and in this div i also want to make div now you see that div 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 it is creating a complete div soup right instead of this what i can do is i can make this section right i can make this section i can make this uh, paragraph now it doesn't look that bad right uh, i can't see those uh, div 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 all over the way those divs again and again writing those divs is known as uh, please join on time you are like one and a half hour late anyway so as i was saying we try to avoid that div soup writing that div again and again become irritating to us fixing bugs is uh, not that easy and when someone else is working on your code it just really hectic and uh, really not what one want to see right so try to avoid div soup as much as possible anyway let's remove this let's come over here let's make a div okay let's make a div now uh, inside this div uh, let's make a h3 which says hello world okay that is what comes to mind first so hello world over here i can go back and uh, see this hello world over here not a problem i can create a unordered list inside this unordered list i can start my list item inside this list item i can make a href okay uh, here i'll write uh, click me or something like that let's save this let's also make an image let's save this go back hello world click me i can see and all that now why i made this just to show you that you can write whatever code you want okay as many divs you want to create as many h3 you want to create ul li whatever you want to create you can create without any hesitation okay this is clear now i want to provide some class to my div how will i do that i want to provide some styling i want to make some changes or whatever i want how will i do that in simple html we used to write class but instead of class now we are going to write class name okay so i'll write these points over here maybe avoid div so first point second point um class name instead of class okay remember uh, n in class name is capital okay that you might miss so please don't why it is this uh, like capital n because it follows camel case rule okay so now what is camel case rule so basically when you have two words in a single word okay like cl in class name you have class and name right so whenever you start a second letter you start with it n okay so this is what camel case is and uh, just like that suppose i want to write greeting world then i will write it something like this okay i won't be writing greeting and small w all oh, sorry sorry so in, uh, it's not like there is anything wrong or someone will stop you from uh, writing that but basically you should not write that 
your code looks much more clean it looks much more better and it is very easy to read and you get the gist right now uh, another point you have to remember close every element now what is this so basically whatever element that you start suppose this the div you will have to close it even the empty fragment that you start over here close it h3 close it ul close it li close it okay even the img close it whatever element you start you will always have to close it okay so these are the few things that you will have to remember in order to proceed further is this all clear or capital, capital name sorry component so, name capital yeah that i have already told you that you will have to remember for sure okay if you just miss that then whatever you do doesn't matter okay so remember that your first letter is capital okay any other doubt anything you want to ask anything at all okay nishan this is clear hello nishan ah uh, yes is this clear yes oh okay. shreeshwa what about you yeah i'm clear okay great um uh empty brackets these fragments basically when i don't want to make a section or i don't want to write you can uh, write over here section you can start with the section also and then close section over here you can write that but if i don't have to add some class some uh, any id or something like that i can just go with the empty fragments also right basically our main task is to uh, write or so, sorry write my complete jss jsx in a certain tag right or a certain element so why not keep it empty why not write uh, nothing right so just for that i use these empty fragments if you want to use something else this is all that is also done no problem with it okay so i want to ask one question mm -hmm. uh, uh, while using react yeah which form of css is better in line or html css when uh, we'll come to css we'll discuss about css uh, okay. yeah okay great um i don't want to be rude or anything just if you feel something like that you uh, tell me no no right? no no, no, no. Yeah. it is simply clear sure great um here we were let's look at next thing currently we are just rendering greeting right we are rendering this greeting we are showing in our root and we get the data according to that but do we have to just make a single component and show this suppose what if i want to make uh, another component and i want to show that data also what can i do can i just write comma here and write the second component and my data will be shown no this is not how this goes so for that let's have a look at something new let's remove this let's remove this too let's make a new component function creating i'll be changing these uh, ways to write a component again and again okay so don't worry about that that i'm writing a certain thing let's return something over here let's return h1 of hello world let's see let's save this let's go over here hello world is there completely fine working but now i try to be smart because i am smart okay so what i do i make another component and that i do with the help of my arrow function so i'll say i also want to pass some message to my friend yeah and i want to say this is my message okay so it's a coded thing you want to understand this is my message okay i'm passing this to my friend 
okay so in this paragraph i have this is my message but if i go back over here i can't see over here what i'll have to do is i'll have to remove this greeting from here and i'll have to save this and go back now i can see this is my message but now my hello world is gone it's not like i can write just comma over here and write greeting to and i can show over here no it is not possible then how will i work uh, for this like how will i show this is my message along with this greeting how will i do that first let's change this to greeting again how will i do that i'll remove this let's remove this okay let's keep it maybe let's keep it okay now this component will work just like any other element what i can do i'll write message again capital letter message and i'll start this and close this now it will show error error why because i am not uh, including this complete jsx in a single tag so let's do that uh, i'll say section okay let's take this section down over here so as i said it will work just like any other element okay this message component so i'll have to start it and then close it okay so if i go back hello world this is my message again just like over here if you want you can self close it too okay so let's make uh, another function let's make person um let's make a h2 heading and inside this i'll write john do okay now in order to show this person what i'll do i'll come over here and i'll say person and yeah look john do now if i want i can uh, self close it okay it's not necessary that i'll have to just uh, um close it uh, first open and close it if i want i can self close it too okay so now i have this person also and my message also keep this person over message hello world john do this is my message okay so if you want to pass multiple number of components then you can do something like this just put all of them in a single component so this was about this let's move forward and let's see uh, into this with a more complexity okay um let's see let's remove all this again let's make a new function okay book list let's return something let's make a section now whatever i have to write i'll write inside this section only okay let's make another component with a name of book return whatever i'll have to return i'll return over here and i'll return inside my article okay now i'll make more functions or more components first is going to be my image so i'll say const image image let's get a image from amazon okay let's copy this link copy image address go over here paste it over here let's save this um atomic habits so let's try it am atomic habits over here for the alternative now i want to see this image as my book right in my book so i can just go on in here and write image save i can't see anything error greeting is not defined okay greeting over here so basically i want to return book list now so instead of greeting i'll write book list let's save this let's go back again i can't see anything why because i'm not returning book 
I'm returning book list. So so as to get the data from my book, I'll write over here and I'll say let's save this, go back. Okay. This should not have happened. You are not returning the image. Sorry? You are not returning the image. Um, can't hear you properly, like too much background noise. You're not returning an image. Yeah, sorry, thank you. Thanks for that. Great. So let's return this image, okay? Again, whatever you write, whatever you have to show, whenever you are creating a component, you will always and always have to return, okay? So now I can see this image over here, right? Because I returned image from this. Now my image component was having this image, right? That I passed over here in this article and basically in this book component. Now this book component is passed into this book list component. Okay. So now I can see this book. Similarly, I'll have author. So I'll say author. Now, who is my author? My author is uh, James Clear. So, write James Clear. I can just go on and write uh, author over here. Right? Save this, come back. I can see this James Clear over here. Similarly, I can have my book name. Now, what is going to be my book name? It is Atomic Habits. Mm. Atomic Habits. Let's save this. I can't see it. Why? Because I have not returned it yet. So let's write here book name. Save this and here. Book image author and book name they're all coming from this book they are all coming from this book list right which is having book tag and which is having image author book name now it's not like i can use this just only once if i want i can use this multiple times i can write this book again save this go back now look i have this all data again i can copy paste it again and still look three times okay so this is how you can use the same tag multiple times same component multiple times again and again you can use it wherever you want you can use it and return it according to the data asked by the user or the data that you want to provide so any doubts till now if you have any doubt just ask Okay then, let's move on to CSS. How do we write CSS? Like how it is done basically in the act. I have not shown you anything, right? So for that, let's create a file in here only with the name of index.css. Okay, um, we'll be writing some CSS, so not a problem. Let's provide some class names and IDs over here book list okay saved over here i can go with the class name of a book saved okay so i have all this but no css right so let's go back over here and let's start writing some css now in order to get this file so that they are connected how do we connect we just write import okay we have to import our css so we write import index dot no it won't work why because you are just writing index dot css index dot css can be anything right we will have to specify a path so for that let's clean this and let's write dot slash why slash because it is in the same folder right now i can write over here index dot css now they are connected and uh, this is 
uh, this is it like you don't have to do anything in order to connect index.css and index.css they are connected now okay let's see whether they are really connected or not starting with margin 0 padding 0 and uh, box sizing is going to be border box saved something's changed yeah they did body font family is going to be sans serif um some background hash f1 f5 f8 anything whatever you prefer color not completely black but yeah black h1 can have a color of red okay if it if h1 is there now for my okay let's see these changes first let's save this okay so i have this background and my color has been changed to red so yeah that means my file is connected now yeah i have uh, two class names book list and book so let's style them also so book list width is uh, going to be 90 vw okay just guessing max width can, can be 1170 pixels for a phone something like that margin could be 5 rem auto display could be grid and uh, gap is going to be 2 rem let's save this go back and it has been styled right so we can see the changes directly let's style some more okay let's add some more things dot book background let's keep it white border radius let's make it one ramp okay it will look good i guess and as for padding let's keep it one ram and two ram saved yeah now i can see that okay dot book h1 inside this i can go margin top 0.5 ram inside this i am also having h4 so i will say color is going to be hash 617d98 my margin top is going to be 0.25 ram letter spacing 3 pixels and font size 0 0.75 ram now let's write something for paragraph also i know it's a bit boring but let's do it margin top 0 0.5 ram saved come back here and okay it's not that good but it doesn't even look that bad right so this is how you can uh, connect your css and add css to different uh, class names different tags the body and what yeah anyone is having a doubt hello sir hello yeah, sir uh, the viewport uh, what is the view, viewport and uh, viewport uh, what output uh, giving us sorry like what are you trying to ask I'm working on sir, CSS. Do you have any doubt in CSS? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, what is the viewport? Uh, width is equal to uh, uh, VW. What is the VW? What VW. Is VW? Uh, sir, viewport. Uh, viewport. Uh, what is the VW? Okay, I'll tell you. So uh, uh, this what... is a complete window. Okay. okay. Right. So now basically this is hundred. Okay. When yes, you write okay. ninety, so that means it will be covering just ninety percent of it. Okay, if I make uh, it is smaller, okay, now this is a bit smaller. So now this is my 100, okay, starting from here to here, this is my 100, but still it will be covering just 90 of it. Okay, so okay. this is VW. This thing should be clear, so like per percentage VW and uh, REM. 
is there a difference in between i'm sorry but uh, i'm not here to teach you css to be honest so okay no problem yeah okay so basically ram is for uh, if you have html like uh, uh your font size is 16 px then uh, ram 1 ram is equals to 16 px 2 ram is equals to 32 px okay whatever you assign your ram okay in uh, normally in your html it is 16 px so this is all so that is your ram and uh, as for percentage it is almost the same as vw okay okay now let's look at uh, css suppose i want to give inline css how will i give that again for the priority someone asked that uh, what is the priority of inline internal and external it is same as what you did earlier in your html css and javascript it is completely same as that okay um, nobody really follows the priority or uh, they use external and they if you want to use some thing for a particular tag or particular element you use inline okay so let's write some inline css let's see how we write it suppose i want to give some css to my author okay what i'll do i'll say style okay i want to give styling to over here so i write style equals curly braces now in order to write css we write one more one more curly braces okay now inside this suppose i want to change the color what is the color currently red let's change this color i'll say color hash 617d98 save this come back color change okay look okay the color has been changed so this is how you write color colon and uh, in okay so this is how you write uh, you, what is the word anyways um suppose i want to also change my font size so i'll write a comma font size again look over here you don't write font size something like this font dash size in here you will write font capital s size again camel case okay let's write colon and in here i'll go 0.75 ram save look the size is different right as uh, different from atomic habits right so yeah you can implement this too and whatever if you want to add more and more styling you can just do it. write comma write that colon write the input okay property colon it's vintage whatever okay so i hope this was clear and if you have any doubt in css part ask um uh, hi um uh, yeah. are you able to yeah okay uh, like why we are using two curly uh, braces here like uh, in normal html uh, it is different right so in this and just because it is jsx we should this is follow just, yeah this is just jsx you have to follow this rule okay yeah anyone anything else uh, what if, if we have to have uh, a some dynamic style how we do that dynamic style we'll see that don't worry we'll see okay. into that currently when we'll start working on hooks we'll see how to uh, give dynamic styling and all that we'll look into it okay currently since we are looking into plain things right just a basic thing so we are looking just directly but when we look into hooks and we'll see that okay when i click on the certain button the changes are happening so then we'll look into okay so this is how you can pass dynamic css or dynamic changes whatever you want they can be made okay. okay let's move on to jsx javascript like how can i write javascript also over here like i also want to return something like some javascript or something like that over here how will i do that so firstly let's remove all this now let's keep a few things um let's remove these two let's start 
let's make another component with the name of book and let's return something over here right we'll have to return in order to show so i'll say let's make an article with the class name of book okay and inside this article let's make image image i'll add so let's add the same image copy image okay and after this image let's keep h1 which says title now the thing is i also want to return the title so either my option is to make a different component and to write the title or 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 what i can do is i can quickly create a variable over here i can say const title is equals to um i just want to write the writer's name so this is james clear okay so what i do i create a variable all right i create this variable I write some information, James Clear. Now I can directly call in my so now I can directly call it in my component. Just that I'll have to write it inside my curly braces. Otherwise, if I don't write these curly braces, then it will just show me title. Look, title. Right? Just those exact words. But if I write something like this, I can see James Clear. Why? because now it is not calling my title text rather it is calling my title variable okay so it is showing me james clear now it's not necessary you can uh, also call global variable author is equals to james clear save this h2 author Let's change this name to Atomic Habit. Okay, title I'm changing. Let's say go back here, Atomic Habits and James Clear. Without any issue, they are over here. So if you want, you can also you don't have to make um components to components again and again. If you have such a simple information about a name or a title or something like that, you can just simply create a variable and store it over here. Okay, you can call it over here. So this is basically JSX JS. Okay. Also, if you want, you can perform a simple actions. You can go something like this H4, H3, let's keep it. And you can go over here author dot two uppercase. Hmm. Uppercase. Let's save this. If I go back, look uppercase okay they are all in uppercase why because i am calling this method so this is how you can also use your javascript let's add two digits six plus six saved 12 but again this all be done inside these curly braces this should always be done inside these curly braces only okay if you use it outside that it won't work okay look if i use this outside this it will just show me author okay and obviously i don't want that to happen that is why i'm writing any other doubt any doubt in this jsx js part can you check the messages sure um after completing a project when we deploy a project okay no react works in cross platform so to be responsive or react will auto no react will not make it responsive i don't think um no react will not make it expensive i don't think that you should even consider anything remotely related to that anything at all react won't do anything for that you will have to style you will have to design you will have to do everything for your project okay it just adds some functionality and it makes things are much more easier okay 
it's not like uh, if i think what is the article here sir article nothing it is just a tag just an element you can change this to div doesn't really matter look okay i'll have to change it over here to the saved again the same thing not much changes okay so this is how you do it yeah look i try to avoid using div why right? because it creates a div soup okay i don't want a div soup so i try to avoid div using again and again anything else anyone you can use dev if you want and there is nothing wrong with that but again that doesn't look good if i can create article if i can can create section then i will everything clear anyone any other doubt if you have just let me know now because i'll now i'm moving into props so if you have any doubt just ask them right away what is the difference between tag and element come on yaar you won't be you shouldn't be asking this i am not explaining that okay this is a simple html and if i even if i have to explain that then i don't know what i'm doing here over here so let's remove this let's move on to props okay so let's move to props and let's see what are props how we use those props and how can we pass props and uh, into other components how can we pass information from one component to another with the help of props and with the help of props how can we change or eliminate the data whatever we can do let's see what we can do with the help of props props is nothing but same short for properties okay if you want to understand props you can understand it with uh, something uh, called parameter just like in the functions you pass parameter and depending on that parameter you show some data here you pass props also you can pass parameters but props are the different functionalities but uh, you can relate with them right you can relate a prop and a parameter let's see let's work on that and you will know so i'll say const author is equals to james clear okay const title is equals to atomic habits const image is equals to paste it over here and yeah okay so let's make a component now <coughs> so as to show all this so i'll make function book list okay and now in i'll make a book list but all the information that i'll be writing will be inside my book so with a book list here like the return as i always have to write return in order to work with jsx so return section let's provide some class name to this we know what is what was our class name it was book list section book job is equals to developer now i don't have this book component so let's okay let's remove this first let's make a book component for that now inside this return i can say article and inside article i'll say book okay let's write an image Hmm. 
okay src could be my img img is coming from over here because it is a variable now so img src is equals to img fine i'll also write alternative and alternative i can just go james clear okay it should be atomic habit let's leave it in here i can write uh, title okay after this title let's write h4 which says author after this let's make a paragraph which is having props dot okay let's remove this now if you look in my book i'm having an article my article is having image h1 heading and h4 heading okay fine and this complete thing is having uh, is coming into my book so now if i go back to my app i can see this book over here okay why because i am having this book in my book list component which is getting rendered in my root so that means that it will be shown over here and my book list is having a book tag okay now my book element is coming from over here okay my book component is coming from here this is my book component now this is having image h1 and h4 image h1 and h4 so this was simple like uh, we have already seen this we have worked on this but what about prop we have prop come prop are coming into play now i want to show some information i will make another book i have two books now so basically i want to show some information on this first book only and i want to show some other information on this second book but the problem is they are both coming from a same component so that is really not possible that's where props come into play okay so what we'll have to do we suppose i want to pass here developer his job is developer and in here i want to provide some title or random number or something like that okay so completely two completely different things i want to pass so what will i do i will say job is equals to developer and in here i'll write title is equals to random Title. Also, I'll pass a number, and I'll say number is equals to twenty-two. Okay. So since I'm writing a number, I'm writing it in my curly braces, and I'm not using this um clean. I'm providing a single quote. Okay. I won't be writing single quote. Come on. So I have this. Now I want to show this developer over here, and uh, this. Title and number over here, but it isn't really possible, right? So as I said, that's where props come into play. So in order to call these, right? What will I write? I'll write here props because I want to use these things. Job is equal to developer. Title is equal to random title. Number is equal to twenty in the my book so that they can go back over here and can be shown on the screen. So I'll call those props here. Okay, just like the parameter that I said, just like parameter, I'll call these props. Now, let's see what are the props. So to see them, let's console log. Console dot log props saved. Come back here, inspect. Console job is equal to developer. Title is random title. Number is twenty. This is all coming from my. Uh, these props right because i'm console logging this props so that means if i write something like this props dot job it should show right wherever my props dot job is present okay i'll again show you this look my job is developer right so that means and it is inside my props so that means if i write props dot job then it will show me developer right so let's see props.job let's go back 
and look developer is over here similarly if i go something like this props dot title then i should see this props dot title random title right and as you can see in this there is just job is equals to developer so it is showing job is equals to developer but it is not having any title right here it is not having a title so we can't see any title but the second book is having its title and it is random title so if we see here random title similarly if i want to see the number and i can say props dot number save 22 okay so this is how I can call those props and show there so as to get the information based on my prop. Is this clear? Any doubt? If you have any doubt, just let me know. And if you don't, let me know that too. Yes, Akshay? So is it here? Just two people. Yeah, Akshay. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, this is clear, sir. Uh, sir, uh, may we explain uh, uh, again the why we use the uh, fragment and what is the benefit of this? I have already said uh, if you want to use something else instead of empty fragments, that is completely fine. If you want to write article, that is also fine. But you have to include all your JSX in a single element. Here I am including my complete JSX in article. If you want, you can change this to section. You can change this to div, whatever you want. But you will have to write complete your J complete JSX inside a single element. No, sir. Uh, I, uh, I, mean, uh, I want to ask, sir, uh, why we use the React fragment and what is the uh, benefit of this? Right. No, nothing. Just to keep my code clean, I write that. Uh, sir, uh, is this uh, used for uh, saving some memory? Like, like how how much memory will you save if you don't write article and uh, you write empty fragment? No, sir. Uh, in React fragment. Yeah, React dot fragment. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, have I told that? No, I will come to that. Don't worry. I'll come to that just one by one. Just if I have not taught something, just don't ask doubt on that. Like, let's make this clear. Like, I'm, I sound a bit rude because my voice is just like that, but I'm not trying to be rude. Uh, believe me, but just let's keep the things uh, where they are. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hi, sir. I'm having one, one doubt. Yeah, sure. Uh, we are calling book two times. So. Mm -hmm it is coming to times if it comes dynamically so how we will pass these props into that how how do you want to call yes. it dynamically means if the you uh, know we are calling two times no mm -hmm. for the book if it's coming dynamically means uh, uh, by getting a loop uh, we can uh, in a loop we are getting that book uh, it's repeating for two, four to five times we need uh, to keep a uh, job you can't like, write uh, you can't write loop inside return so you won't be able to return your book in a loop again and again and again you can't do that it's just not possible okay yeah but um, i'll clear that if you are coming like if your this book is coming dynamically uh, suppose you are passing some condition right D this is what you want to say right just based on uh, some yes. condition uh, yes yeah so for that you will still be able to pass those prop. Why you won't be able to pass the pass that prop? If I again write this book, okay. If I am in my for loop, even if I am in my for loop, and if I am write, if I am calling my book twice, right? If I am calling my book twice, then that means this, right? Even if I do this, I can see developer two times here and here. The same thing because first book and my second book will be same now. Third book is different because its props are different. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Anyone, anything else? 
the stars because we are going to move more into props now okay and this is really important props are really important in um, react you will really see i don't think you will ever see a single major project without the use of prop okay so any doubt at all anything if you are shy to like ask that in the same class you can just uh, put it in the message box whatever works for you 5 minutes break um i think uh, just uh, 15 to 20 minutes class are left class is left just that um so you'll be on a break for a week don't worry okay just give me 20 more minutes okay so any other doubt anything else okay then let's move forward and let's see how we can use more of props okay so let's remove all this let's remove this uh just a question for the first prop you had passed uh, a few uh, parameters and the second uh, sorry second component you had passed different parameters mm -hmm. and you have used all the parameters in the return of book Mm -hmm. So, if it is not present in the second uh, component that you have called, won't it return a error or anything undefined or? Uh, like what? Like uh, how do you want to put it? Like tell me, I'll make those changes. Uh, like uh, if I'm trying to, uh, you are already trying to access a uh, props dot job, right? Right, right. Uh, but that is not present in the first book. Uh, prop hasn't been passed to it. Second, oh, sorry, second, second book. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, will it not uh, throw an error? No, it will not. That is what I told you. Like, if you don't have that uh, in your prop, then it will just not show. It won't throw any error. It will just not show over there, and it will okay. only show for uh, the book in which that prop is present. Like, uh, job prop, job prop was present here, so it showed developer. And uh, this title and number was present over in the second book, so it shows here random title and twenty two. That is why I took uh, took these completely different examples that they have nothing in common. Suppose mm -hmm. I give job is equals to designer. It really doesn't matter. It will show you designer. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyone? Anything else? Uh, hello, sir. Hello. Uh, can we uh, pass the prop from uh, child component to parent component? Child component. There is no child component. There is no parent component. Um, it's just if you want to, you are trying to say you want if you want to pass a component from here to here, right? That is yes. what you mean. Yeah, you can do that. We'll see. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's move forward and let's see what is things that are left. Let's make this. Let's say I want to make two books. Okay, this time completely different books and completely different things. I'm making a object. IMG. put a comma title is going to be atomic habits um and author can be can be no james clear should be james clear it must be james clear let's make a second work So again, IMG. IMG is going to be let's take some good work. Let's take my title is going to be Ikigai. My author is going to be um Hector Gracia. Hector Gracia, I think. 
vector this stuff. Okay, so currently I can see that that is showing me error, but anyways, I really don't care. Let's make that component so that so the error will be removed. Let's return something quickly. Hello, save over here and hello is over. Here. Great. Let's remove this H1 now. In this section, not selection, but section. I'll give it a class name of book list. Okay, and let's work in this section. I'll make a book. Okay, just like the last time. So for that, I'll need a book component. So let's make that book component first. Article dot class name could be book. Now inside this, I'll make an IMG. Okay, I'll also make H1. I'll also make H4. And let's save this. Currently, I can't see anything for obvious reasons because I'm not really returning anything valuable, right? I'm returning H4, H1, but they do not contain any value. So, anyways, we'll call all those values. We'll show all the things now with the help of props. How to do that? Let's call our book. Okay, I've called my book. Now, what? Let's call it uh, for a second time. Done. Let's pass our props. We looked how we can. Okay, look. We looked how we can just pass our prop. In that prop, I can pass my value, right? This is a parameter. This is my value, and I can call it from a props. Okay, props keyword, and I can use it over here. Suppose I write props dot job, then I get job prop. If I write props dot title, then I get random title. Okay, so now cut to chase. That means that I can write more props over here, and just write just by writing props dot that prop name, I can call over here, right? Exactly. So let's do that. So I'll say img is equals to first book dot img. Basically, this this IMG, okay, it is coming from my first book object, first book object, okay, which property IMG property, so okay, dot IMG, that means I can also call my other things, title and author, so let's do that, title is equals to first book dot title, okay, and author first book dot title similarly i can write over here instead of just writing first book i can change uh, Rupam, it. it's uh, i think it's author uh, first book dot author yeah, not yeah, title I'll make that change thank you let's change this to second okay Okay, so my author is over here, second book. Okay, so that means I'm now I'm passing these props. Now my prop is IMG, title and author. That means if I call over here, props, let's console log and let's see what do I have in my props. Do I even have props? Let's check. Save, inspect, console. Okay, so I do have props. Okay, I have uh, two th two objects in it, which uh, first object is having IMG, author and title. And similarly, second object is also having my IMG, author and title. So great. So that means I can use props, right? So let's use it over here. Props.img. Props.title. 
okay let's make this uh, author let's make this title and let's write props.img over here saved came back over here i can see these two books easily right why how this is working i have object i have uh, my information in my objects right so i am just making these props and i am simply calling this first in book.img from here similarly first book of title first book dot author they are all coming and similarly this second book is having uh, its props coming from this second book object okay so when we are calling props over here when we are passing it over here my h1 is getting info for the first time it is getting first book dot, dot title which takes me over here and for the second book it takes me for second book dot title which is coming from <coughs> over here okay so sim same thing just uh, as the last time completely same thing still any doubt at all if you have any doubt just let me know now okay um akshay i think your mic is on please keep it off okay now is there some other way in order to use props yes there is if you don't want to write this prop start again and again and again then what you can do is you can write something like this const amg comma title comma author and these are since these are all coming from props so you can call them something like this now you can just directly use them you don't need to write props okay now if i save this go back still same thing okay so i don't have to write props.img props.title props.why because i have called all of them over here okay now is there any more other way yes there is what you can do is instead of calling this as props you can directly call them over here img comma title comma author save back same thing okay so it's totally up to you what do you prefer what do you want to use completely fine no restrictions anything nothing okay so let's move further and let's look at children what is props children let's have a look at it. just few more minutes max to max 15 minutes just that and we'll be off let's look at um this props children okay how will i do that how will i pass what is children basically suppose i want to make a okay how do i explain okay suppose i want to make a paragraph okay but it should be coming over here in my book but if i pass it over here suppose i write p and i'll say abra kadabra okay suppose i say this save go back abra kadabra over here and abra kadabra over here but i just don't i want to show this abra kadabra over here in a paragraph okay something like this so either my option is i make a prop then i call a prop over here or better than that what i can do is instead of closing this okay look inside this element book component only i'll make a paragraph and i'll say abra ka dabra okay i'll save this now if i want to see that what i'll do i'll write children over here children okay save children is not defined okay i'm not calling my children right it should okay, be props dot children no no it's uh, no i should not give that is the point now i am making this paragraph 
right which i want to show just inside my book okay what will i do either i can make a prop which says uh, para is equals to abra ka dabra then i can go over here and write uh, something like this um here yeah. p inside this i can write pro oh sorry uh, since i'm already calling it directly so i can just uh, write here uh, para right and in here i'll have to write para is equals to abra ka dabra right now if i go back hmm okay i again haven't called it so i so what i have to do i have to make this prop i have to write this para over here then i'll have to write uh, this para in my p then only i'll be able to see that abra ka dabra but instead of that i'll be using my children so in children what i'll do i'll not uh, self close this tag like here if you look my book tag is the second book my book tag is self closing tag okay but in my first book it is having paragraph inside it only now this becomes the children okay and when i call it here children then i can just directly write children over here and if i go back and if i go back i can see that abra ka dabra coming over here i can write more and more things and just with the help of children i don't have to write anything else just with the help of my children they all will be called at once without writing anything else any doubt in this in this children part i know it is it is a bit complicated um, but it should not be any doubt in this any at all if you have any doubt just let me know now so that i can clear it out Hey Rupam, actually I was having one doubt. Mm -hmm. So if we pass children as prop in the book component, then uh, children is a book. Com sorry. Yeah, if we pass like uh, uh, children as the prop name, like after author, mm -hmm. then uh, what will like happen? Children, something like this. Yes. Let's see what will happen. Let's write children over here. Um. Okay, as my children is already coming, so let's see. Um, yeah, nothing is going to happen. Nothing is happening. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was hoping for some error or something. So, if you remove the paragraph, I think it will show some error. Let's see. Huh. So it is not showing uh, error, but it is showing children because now it has become prop, right? So it is now a complete prop, and yeah, it is now acting as a simple prop. If I remove this para, and I add this children is equals to children. Suppose if I write here abra abra abra. Okay, here abra 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 I get. Okay, so no problem with that. but if i am writing this uh, children along with this para then my para will be shown and not my children okay children prop basically yeah okay anything else no anyone anything else okay let's keep on this this on side and let's see something interesting simple list no i hope i am calling my css importing my css yeah uh let's make a simple list i have few names with me okay my first name is john my second name is susan and my third name is going to be peter okay um let's look for new names okay so i'll say and change these names to something else so what i want to do i want to change them into heading 
so what i can say i can i'll go names dot map method okay i'll use this as a name and inside this i'll go return h1 and name let's make this names okay now here i can go with function i write book list is equals to Now inside my book list, I'll say return section. Let's give some class name to this book list, maybe. Yeah. Inside this section, I'll write new names. So if I go back, I can see these names. No. Let's remove this. Now let's write name John, Susan, and Peter. So I hope this is very clear like how I'm trying to do this and I'm writing this because it is simple simply I'm using a map method to get each and every name uh, by going on to names array okay basically this array so I'm mapping over it names dot map and get getting each name one at a time John Susan and Peter then I'm uh, getting returning them with the help of h1 and when I'm calling with here in my section in my book list component these new names so this h1 is coming one by one john susan and peter so i hope this is clear this is just basic javascript nothing more now what i want to show let's look at that uh, any doubt in this if you have any doubt i'll be happy to explain it is just simple javascript so i was assuming that you already know but if you don't just tell me i'll explain it again Okay, so let's move forward and let's look at something complicated. Let's look at proper list. Okay, this is not some topic or something, it's just I'm calling it. So don't just get uh, annoyed or something like that. Now, in my book list, what I will do, let's remove all this. Let's remove this. Okay, I have my section, I have my class name to book list, completely fine. Let's remove it also because let's write it from a sketch. Return. What I want to return, let's make a section, same thing. Book list. Okay, in my book list, what I can do again, I'll use that map method just like. Here I used it. So what I'll do, I'll say I write those curly braces because in order to perform that map operation, I can't just directly write it because I'm in my JSX, right? So in order to perform that map method, I'll have to write that in my curly braces. So I'll say book start map. Okay, just like the last time. Let's call each of them by book name. Let's write it over here. Now, what do I want to return? I want to return my book component. Okay, so I'll return my book component. Let's remove all these things from my book component and just write it here. Hello world. Saved. Go back. Nothing. Why? Because I'm trying to return, but it is not taking any value. Why is that? And what are the values that I'll need? So let's work on that. Let's remove this too. Yeah. Now I am having this over here. I can't see anything right now, although I'm trying to return. But if you look here, I'm trying to return this book, but I'm not passing it, uh, passing anything inside it, or I'm not returning directly from here. I'm returning. From this map right I'm mapping so whatever I return from here this will return right this will be removed and now my book will come over here but in order to do that I should have some value right so let's pass some value firstly this book what is this having this is having image title and author okay this is not the case 
that's sorry about this const books is equals to let's make this array in this array let's make this object paste title is equals to atomic habits my author is going to be james clear let's make a second why did i'm typing this let's copy this paste it over here okay i can make uh, one more so let's make one more let's get some image to shit okay that's saved coming back this shouldn't be book list rather it should be books comma yeah comma comma after rector garcia curly bracket sure thank you so i can see this hello world hello world hello world why because i'm returning this book all right and this is coming from this h1 hello world so i can see that no problem but obviously i don't want to see this hello world i want to see the data all this data these three books data right okay so i'll map over it and i'll say book and i'm returning this book so and so since i'm returning this it is having this hello world value right so it is showing me hello world hello world hello but 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 i don't want to see the data just hello world i'm not here for that i want to see the data depending on these objects right which is in my book now right it was in my books i mapped over it then one by one it was in my book so what i'll do i'll take that data how i'll say const img title and author these are all coming from my book even if i remove this it will work it is a matter but i prefer to use it so now book is over here i want to pass my book so what will i do i'll write book is equals to book okay so i'm passing this prop remember props this is how we used to write props my name of prop and the value of prop so value of prop is this book right this book which is having this book this book and this book one by one okay and i'm passing it with the help of the name book only right so i'll go here and i'll say call my all props and uh, get me my const image title and author from where from my props dot book okay get it from there now yeah this is also the way that you can write props dot book over here now i can just directly write img title and author okay so let's do that let's remove this and in here i'll go with img in my src i can just directly write img after this i can make a h1 heading which will have a title and then small author Okay, title spelling is wrong, so I'll be making a lot of a, a spelling mistakes. So be with me and keep correcting. Okay, so now if I go back, I can see this image name and this, but but but. If I go to console, I can see this warning. Now, what is this warning? 
it says that each child in a list should have a unique key prop now what is this key prop basically it is to uniquely identify my single book over here or a single element anywhere okay so here it is going to be my single book okay so how will i how can i do that so what will i do i'll make give them each of them a id okay id 1 id of 2 uh, and over here i can go with id of 3 okay i'll save this now i can just simply pass over here key is equals to book dot id saved let's see if the warning is over there or not no it is not now i can uniquely identify my book okay also one more thing if you are passing the same name instead of writing book is equals to book what you can do is write curly braces and you you, you can use spread operator something like this dot 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 book okay it will also work the same um okay This should not be happening. Okay, so now a book is getting passed. IMG. IMG title and author. Saved. Look, now they have here. Yeah, yeah. So if you are writing this spread operator, you don't need to write this props.book because it do not understand what props is now. Okay. If you use spread operator, so I can remove this and I can directly call IMG title and author over here and I can just use them the way I want. Okay, so key will be used to uniquely identify my element. Okay, if I look over it, it should show something uniquely. Uh, anyways, so key is used to uniquely identify in order to remove that warning. Okay and this is my spread operator and now whatever in, is in my in my spread operator img title author id i can use them over here i can even use id right so if i write id and i write h1 come on h1 and in here i'll write id save go back look one two three so this was about prop this is it uh, about the prop nothing more if you have any doubt just let me know now uh, hello Rupam. yes uh, could you please just summarize the last thing that is uh, from where you started the mapping map could you summarize? i just yeah, got sure. confused about that sure, sure sure so what we are trying to do over here is basically i have this uh, return and i have to return these books okay so normally we just write a book tag and I can call but now I have to write depending on my props right so okay. either I have two ways uh, what I can do I can write one book then I can write ID IMG title and author as their props okay then I can okay. write a second book then I write ID IMG title and author then I have to write third book with ID IMG title and author as their prop right this is what i'll have to do right okay but what i can do is i can use my map method with that map method i'll uh, map over my books array i'll take it with the, my book and i can just return my book component now how i don't have to pass my prop one by one like these three then these three then these three i can just quickly write dot 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 book okay using my spread operator now my okay. all props are passed Okay, I don't have to write anything. Now my all props are passed. Which props? IMG, title, author, ID. These are all passed where? To my book component. The component oh. that I'm trying to call. So coming back to here. Now my book is here. Now I need props in order to show. Right. So what are the what are the things that I can call? I can call ID, IMG, title, and author. And that is what I did. I called them. Now I can just show them smoothly without any problem.
Clear? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sure, sure. No problem. Anyone? Anything else? Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, sir, uh, please uh, explain uh, when uh, we uh, we have a book array, and uh, in book array we have book object. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in this object, uh, we also have a uh, one more object. Then, uh, then uh, no, look, we uh, in my I have this book array. Yes, sir. And in my book array, sorry, book array. Uh, and my book yes. array, I have three uh, objects, yes. right? Yes, yes, sir. So when I do mapping over it, when I map over it, what happens is it will select my element one by one. Since the uh, these elements are uh, objects so it will take one object at a time okay for the first time it will take first object it will go over here and it will pass these things over here okay it will uh, pass it over here and then it will this book will take them as a prop for the first time they are taking this first object okay then i have this id image title and author so i what i do i return them i'll say img src it is here name is over here the title is here number is here okay now for the second time what it does it will again call my second element so basically this hello sir uh, sir i'm trying to say in my object uh, we have also one more object where then uh, then uh, how where, we where, where? Uh, uh, suppose in case uh -huh. yeah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, one more object. Suppose in case, yeah. How? Uh, please uh, explain. Um, suppose you have an object author, and you have a property name and last name. Okay. Yes. Sir. So just write author dot name, and you will have his name. And uh, you have, if you want to write yes, last sir, name. Uh, how we uh, do uh, using map? If we are. Uh, you don't Anna. need to use map over there. You are using map just to call this complete object. Map is not calling individually; it is calling this complete object, right? And th that complete object is your now book. And in that book, you have IMG title and author. If you want to call, suppose you have, this author is an object which is having two properties, name and last name. So when you want to show that name and last name, you can go author dot name, author dot last name. You don't have to map over it. Okay, sir. Understood. Yeah. Yes. Um. Anyone? Anything else? Okay then. Uh, it's time for your homework for this week. Because the lecture is done. So your task is going to be. You have to make a project. Okay, a simple project. What we did today was making this uh, a bit of library type thing, or you can say this Amazon bestseller type thing. So you have to make the exact same thing. You will have to make this uh, library type thing, or you can say bestseller, or whatever you want to call this. So you will have to make the same thing. Okay. Uh, at least use at least uh, twenty books. Okay. Its image, its name, its uh, um, what you can say, title. Uh, the number of stars, price, use all this. Okay, style it with the help of CSS. Um, and uh, the use of props is must. You can't just go with the HTML and CSS and just style it. Use it with the help of, make it with the help of props, just like we did today. So basically, if you look here, this simple styling is there and simple calling of props is there. Okay, so this is your homework for the first week. And yeah. I'll see you next week. If you don't have any doubt, if you want to ask anything or something like that, you can ask right now. Okay. Okay then. Um, just complete the homework. Okay, complete your first task, and see you next week. Bye. Hello, sir. Uh, yeah. Hello. Uh, sir, I have I have question, sir. Uh, can I ask in uh, Hindi, sir? Yeah, sure. Uh, sir, uh, during a workshop, जो project हम आप और हम जो अने साथ में अने build create करने वाले बनाने वाले हैं, तो CSS sir inbuilt अने ready made रहेगा क्या sir? 
हाँ, आपको बेसिकली क्या होता है आप यहाँ पे बुक यूज कर रहे हो है ना आप यहाँ पे तो क्या हो रहा है यहाँ पे आपका बुक बार बार कॉल हो रहा है तो आप देखो अगर यहाँ पे एक मिनट मैं इसको खोल लेता हूँ आप यहाँ पे देखोगे तो यहाँ पे आपकी तीन बुक्स हैं है ना यू हैव थ्री बुक्स है सो आप जब यहाँ पे स्टाइल कर रहे हो तो इसको ऐसे स्टाइल करो कि ये समझ के कि यहाँ पे नंबर ऑफ बुक्स एन आएगा मान लो ट्वेंटी बुक्स भी आ सकता है थर्टीन बुक्स भी आ सकता है कितने भी नंबर बुक्स आ सकता है राइट तो उसको तो उसको आप वैसे ही स्टाइल करो कि यहाँ पे मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ बुक्स आएगा ऐसे मत सोचो कि एक बुक है अब मैं कितनी बुक को स्टाइल करूंगा इसके लिए फ्लैक्स यूज करो ग्रेड यूज करो ओके इसको ऐसे सोचो कि ये ऐसे है कुछ ऐसा लिखा हुआ है एक मिनट ओके ऐसे मैं सुबह ले रहा हूँ तो ऐसे सोचो कि ये ऐसे लिखा हुआ है मल्टीपल टाइम्स ठीक है और उसको उसके अकॉर्डिंग वो करो स्टाइल करो ऐसे स्टाइल मत करो कि मेरे को मतलब पता नहीं है कि कितने बुक्स स्टाइल करने हैं और कैसे पहले से सोच के चलो वहाँ पे एन नंबर ऑफ बुक्स आएंगे मैं मुझे पता नहीं है कितने बुक्स आएंगे तो फ्लैक्स या ग्रेड उस हिसाब से यूज़ करो उसको सर आप आप कह रहे थे कि स्टाइल प्रॉप थ्रू करना है होमवर्क में नहीं स्टाइलिंग प्रॉप के थ्रू नहीं करनी है स्टाइलिंग तो सी के थ्रू ही करनी है बस प्रॉप यूज कर रहे हैं मैं ये बोल रहा हूँ अच्छा ठीक है स्टाइलिंग तो प्रॉप के थ्रू हो ही नहीं सकती ना कुछ और नो बस थैंक यू ठीक है अगर किसी और को पूछना हो हिंदी में अगर डाउट्स पूछने हो तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है आप पूछ सकते हैं बाकी आई एम नॉट कंफर्टेबल इन एनी अदर लैंग्वेज सो आई डोंट रियली नो एनी अदर लैंग्वेज आई नो अ बिट ऑफ फ्रेंच बट so can you please drop what is the task in whatsapp group sir it's correctly not at well and oh yeah sure i'll drop that not an issue um so yeah let's see you next week complete your homework okay complete the task cause based on the task only you will be getting certificate and try to attend all the classes okay and try to attend on time okay please many of you were not on time so please be on time okay bye See you next week.